Woody Guthrie's famous song, This Land is Your Land, has been at the center of a copyright battle, with lawyers on one side arguing that this land belongs to you and me, members of the general public. But the Guthrie family has successfully argued the song actually belongs to them. New tonight, Channel 8's Tyler Butler went to Tulsa's Woody Guthrie Center to see why the family wants to keep his greatest work out of public domain. This land is your land. It's the song millions of Americans first learned in elementary school. But did you know the original handwritten lyrics to that song are right here in Tulsa? Just a, a week ago, we celebrated the 80th anniversary of Woody writing This Land is Your Land in New York. And in honor of the anniversary, we brought out the original handwritten lyrics that Woody sat down and wrote in that little apartment. Guthrie did not know at the time that the song he wrote would be the one that defined his career, nor did he realize the copyright dispute that would be taking place 80 years later. That song that describes a land made for you and me does not belong to you and me. There's a really great reason that it's not in the public domain, and it's not that the family or the copyright owners want to make a lot of money. They're not making a lot of money out of licensing this land as your land. Last week, a court upheld the Guthrie family's copyright despite protests from lawyers claiming lapses in copyright renewals put it into the public domain. But McLeod says those lapses didn't happen. Woody totally understood copyright. You can look around and these lyrics that he wrote, he always dated it. He was dating it because he was establishing his, his intellectual property rights. So if the family's not making a whole lot of money off the rights, why spend money on lawyers to defend the copyright? Well, to make sure the song isn't used as a tool to divide. This is music with a message, and it's important to keep that message clear and, and make sure that it's being used for the right purposes. And in this case, for this land, or we shall overcome, the purpose is to unify people, um, not to separate them. Tyler Butler, Tulsa's Channel 8. You can see those handwritten lyrics on display for the next week at the Guthrie Center until they go back into the vault.